guys, it's Friday, which means Mark's been to the charity shop, which means it's time for a haul. He never got me as much stuff this time. He said it was sort of slim pickings, and if you go to the charity shop, you know sometimes there's loads of good stuff, and sometimes you don't find very much. So this time I've got quite a few things, but not as much as I usually have. And I don't know if you can see behind me, it looks kind of squint, but it's not. Must just be the way the camera is. But yeah, I put the picture up that I got in last week's haul. I put that up on the wall. I replaced the little gold ceramic stag head I had up there and put that picture up. And I love it. Anyway, let's get on with the stuff he got. The first thing he got me is, I really hate these tie things. I hate them so much. Anyway, the first thing I got is this little mint top. It's just, it's pretty plain. It's got a weird double collar thing it's a bit weird on the top but the thing I like about it is it has buttons on the back I really like tops with buttons on the back or something going on in the back it just adds a little bit of interest to your outfit this was from international and this was one pound next thing he got me is this I don't know if you're going to be able to see this well you won't be able to see if it's upside down hold on I don't know if you're going to really get to see this is kind of weird it's like a slouchy kind of, I think the pocket's inside there. It's got pockets here on the side. It's sort of baggy and slouchy and yeah. And then underneath it, it's attached to it, so it's like sewn into it, is this white vest top. But the material in, oh, sorry, the material in some bits is cheerier than in other bits. It's a bit weird. So you can kind of see the white vest top through it. It's... I thought it looked really big but it's a size 10 so I'm assuming it's meant to be oversized and baggy and it looks super comfy so I'm looking forward to wearing that. Next thing he got me are these, in fact he got me three pairs of shorts, I'll show you them. These are, yeah, shorts, mm, pink shorts, why could I not think of the name for that? These are from NG, MNG Basics, they are, these were a pound also. And they're just perfect for the summer. They're not too, too short, so your butt's not going to be hanging out the bottom of them. But yeah, nice and colourful and bright for the summer. Talking about bright shorts, there's these. These look slightly dressier just because of the button detail on the front. They've got three buttons on each side of the pocket. I really like these. Yellow just is such a happy, cheery colour. I love it. They look like this on the back, just plain with the little pockets. Yeah really like them these were from did i say h&m and these were a pound as well a pound for shorts for the summer you can't go wrong and the next pair of shorts are from where are you from these are from new look these are a size 10 these are sort of dressier but you could wear them casual i thought they'd look nice with a white t-shirt or you could even wear them in the they're a slightly thicker material and I thought you could wear them in the winter with knee-high boots, woolly tights and a chunky jumper. But yeah, they look like this. I think I've got a lot of wear out of these actually because they'll go with everything. Did I say these were a pound? These were a pound. There we go. I've still to wash all the stuff so it's still got all its labels on. Next thing is a little bit weird. It's this. I don't know if you would call it a negligee, a slip. Like, it's like a nightdress. That's what I've got, like a nighty. It's a silky material, it's, I don't I would, uh, sort of Indian looking pattern on it. This is brand new, this still has its additional tags in it. It's from Char, Charmant, Charmant, I don't know, I'm just show you and you can read it. Yeah, so this is brand new. This was, it doesn't have the original price on it, but it's got the original tags on it. This was also a pound. I like this just because it's a bit different and yeah I like it it's kind of short but not short short I think it'll be comfy because it's nice and silky and it'll be nice for the summer nights and something that is not at all summery is this it is this dress it's from H&M and it is very long it's woolly again these tires I absolutely hate them I cut them out of everything what do you call that cable knit this woolly Really design thing, long sleeves, again very long, pockets in the front, this goes way below your knees. I thought this would be nice with a chunky belt, in fact the belt that Mark got me last week would go absolutely perfect with this. Everything he said without the tags was 60 pence, so this for 60 pence, that's a pretty good deal. Next thing he got me was this, 
sort of bohemian hippie kind of looking top. It's in a pale green colour like this. It's got, I don't know if you can see that if I shine it, it's got little sequins in the flowers design, a little tie neck and the thing I like about that is it's got a design on the back. I love stuff with designs on the back. This just looks sweet and cute for the summer. I like it. That was 60 pence. Did I say that? 60 pence. In fact, yeah, the next two things I'll show you, they are both 60 pence. And next thing is, this is in a size large, but I like these big and baggy. It's one of those vest top things with the big, you know, cut down to there, bits at the side. It says, super superior knowledge of wealth. And it has this handsome fella on the front. Yeah, it's got sparkles in it. Can you see that if I move it like this? It all sparkles. It's purple. It's a bit different. Don't have anything like that. Love it. Next thing he got me is a size 18. I'm a size 10. But he got me this because he said he thought it would look really comfy as a little night shark thing to wear to bed. Yeah, it's going to be quite big on me, I think. But it's nice and light. He said it was super soft. And he, I like wearing odd jammies, like different jammy bottoms with different jammy tops. So... That is a new jammy top. So the next clothing item I have got is this. This is going to be so awkward to show you and I'll do my best. I'm um, sorry. It is this lavendery purple coloured coat. It is 100% suede. It's from the brand Centigrade. And it's a size small and you can see there it's 100% suede. This was 99 pence. It is absolutely gorgeous on i am not going to do it any justice by showing it like this it's got the faux fur on the collar faux fur on the cuffs like this and this is long this is long this it's not full length down to it but it's way below your knees it is absolutely in immaculate condition as if nobody has ever worn this i really like it and it looks i tried it on and it looks absolutely gorgeous so Love that. The next couple of things I've got are not clothing items, but we're near four things to show you. So Mark always picks up something weird usually. So he said it was, like I said, slim pickings this week. He didn't really see the kind of stuff he normally sees. Last week he got me loads of weird stuff, but this time he just got me one weird item and it was this. It's not overly weird, but I've never seen anything like it. It is this little, would you call it a clutch bag? I'll show you up close. It's got these little squares all in little studs all over it and then the gold stars in here. This is the top of it. It's a little pouchy bag thing and if I show you, this is where it gets weird. I've never seen one like this before. It opens up like this and inside it is a little handle, a little silver handle. This was pound fifty, and yeah, I just really like it and it closes like that. It's just weird. I've never seen anything like it. Mark's suggestion was, if you're not going to use it as a bag, why don't you use it as a fancy toilet roll holder like that? So yeah, he's just as weird as me. Yeah, I like it. I think I will use it as a bag actually because it's unusual. Light. Next thing I got was this. This looks like this. This is super heavy. It looks like it wouldn't be heavy at all, but it's actually really, really heavy. It's just a little trinket box. It's got pink gemstones on it. Little flowers, pink gemstones in there. And if I show you the top, it's got more gemstones here. It's just a pretty little metal, really heavy little box. And the inside it, it needs a good clean. It's just the velvet, what do you call it? Yeah, like a dark velvet sort of thing, but it needs a little clean up. But yes, I like this. I like little trinkety things like that. The next thing he got me, he said he got me because he thought this bit here was really, really pretty. Oh, sorry, the price of this. I'm pretty sure he said that it was a pound. The price isn't on it, but I'm sure he said it was a pound. And I think this was only 50 pence. And the reason he said he got it was, it is a necklace, but he said he got it because he thought that would be nice as a little charm for one of my handbags or to make it into a keyring or something. It's really, really pretty. It's in this, again, minty green kind of colour. I, when I saw it, I thought, yeah, I will make that into a little key charm thing. But I tried it on and it looks so pretty on. Wait and I'll show you what it looks like on. It's almost like a sort of choker type thing. Hold on, my hair's getting caught. 
it looks, and you're not going to be able to see it in this dog, but yeah, it's just so, so pretty. I really like it. I've got it on back to front, so it's not that pretty that way. Hold on and I'll show you. I'm not going to try and fidget about with getting it fastened, but yeah, it just looks really, really pretty on, and I really like it. So now that I've seen it on, I think I'm going to keep it as a necklace. Yes, like that. And the last thing he got me, because he knows I love handbags, was a handbag. And it's this one. It is in a rusty red coloured leather. This is real leather and it's by a make I've never heard of before. It's Edina, R Edina Roney. I'll show you. Maybe one of you have heard of it. Yeah, never heard of it. But it's like this. I think it's that far. I think it's pony hair. Is that what you call it? It's got spots all over it. And I'll show you the inside. Done. It's like a bowling bag kind of shape. These bags I don't think ever look really nice when they're empty because they sort of collapse in at the bottom. But once it's filled up with my stuff I think it'll be really nice because it's got this wee charm thing on here. And the inside is absolutely immaculate. It's got the brand name all over it here and on here. A little zip pouch here and two little slip pockets here loads and loads of room you could really carry so much stuff about i really like it and again i like a bag you can chuck on your arm so there is that and that was the very last thing and i hope you enjoyed the haul and i'll be back with you very soon with some more videos and i'll see you then thank you for watching bye